Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. What have I done? I... I didn't want... It was like a dream.
Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here, but before somebody comes in here... Got to get rid of it. Barred up. I can't get out this way. She noticed something. I'm done for. Yes? I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh, yes, of course. I... Excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Quick, before somebody finds the body. this neighborhood before the police get here. I live too far away to walk. I have to find another way to get back home. anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs.
Doc's diner. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. <laughs> My partner's gonna take your statement soon, ma'am. It shouldn't take too long. Thanks. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Did you find anything, Tyler? <laughs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Man, it's freezing out there. No point in me going out if I don't have any idea where the murderer went. Do we know anything about the victim? His name was John Winston. He worked at a little store in the neighborhood. He lived alone in a small apartment. According to Kate, he was just a guy. 